Today, we remember. We remember the 102,949 Australians who have died in service to our country. Their names inscribed in bronze upon the Roll of Honour at the Australian War Memorial. We observe a minute's silence for those who were lost, never to return, and those who did, never to be the same. In this year, the centenary of the Royal Australian Air Force, we particularly acknowledge more than 11,000 aviators who have fallen. Flying Officer Colin Flockhart was a boy from the suburbs of Sydney who enlisted into the RAAF when he turned 18 in 1942. Selected to become a pilot, Flockhart completed his Air Force training with distinction. After two years, he was posted to 619 Squadron in the Royal Air Force. It was during his service with the squadron that Flockhart wrote a letter to be sent to his family in the event of his death. In the letter, Flockhart wrote, First of all, let me say that I've enjoyed my Air Force service as I have enjoyed no other years of my life, and I have been completely happy the whole time. This was inevitable, and I could never have imagined my life unless I did my share. On the 7th of January 1945, Flockhart was piloting his Lancaster bomber from a successful raid over Munich, when it was believed his aircraft collided with another that was damaged and had drifted off course in the poor flying conditions. The crews of both aircraft did not survive. Soon after, his family received his heartfelt letter. Only 20 years old, Flockhart was one of 4,100 Australian aviators killed in action while serving in RAF Bomber Command. In today's moment of reflection, we remember the sacrifice of Flying Officer Colin Flockhart and all those who have died in service to Australia. Each has a story, a home and the loving arms of a family to which they one day hoped to return. In their place came a telegram, a letter, a comrade with eyes downcast and hat in hand, to speak for those fallen silent, lest we forget.